That's where IEC staff, security personnel, the media and observers and anyone who will be on duty on the main election day are voting. June the 3rd of 2017 will mark the third time in five years that Lesotho has held a general election. The election comes on the heels of uh, Democratic Congress Prime Minister Pakadita Musisidi losing a no-confidence motion in Parliament in March. Yesterday, six political parties also battled it out in a pre-election debate. Yes! The debate got off to a rocky start with the state radio and TV pulling out of a planned live broadcast in the last minute. We want reconciliation, but we are surprised that the government has cancelled the live broadcast of this debate by state radio and television because we are going to talk. Clear discrimination on access to public resources. Economic growth has slowed from 4% to 2.5% since 2012. 57% of the 2 million population lives under the poverty line. 40% of the youth are unemployed. Politicians say they have the answers. The public office suspension fund amounting to 4 billion generates interest but it is not benefiting the country. Instead, it is borrowed to South Africans who are developing cities like Santon. We need to identify the projects to stimulate economy. We are tired. This country is polarized. Domestic economic empowerment. The RCL says the economy must benefit all Basutu, regardless of where they are, and we are serious about decentralization. If you are found guilty of corruption. The outgoing government believes it is still relevant. The mining sector. We have developed the mining sector and we continue to develop it to grow the economy and create jobs. And we are opening new mines. As things got hotter, some lost their composure. I won't come to these meetings to be disrespected by children talking to me like that. Seven parties were invited to participate in this debate. Six have turned up and conspicuous by their absence is the Prime Minister's party, the Democratic Congress. These parties have a week to prove to the electorate what it is that they can do. And if you listen to them, there's not much of a difference in terms of ideology because perhaps the issues are similar. But all of them believe that they are the best. SABC News, Maseru Lesotho. Now our correspondent in Lesotho, Ntakwana Ngatane, is now joining us on the line from Maseru with the very latest there. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Ntakwana. Nice to chat to you once again. People like uh, yourself are voting uh, today. Have you yourself voted and what has been your personal experience and how is it going uh, generally? Obria, why are you putting me on the spot? <laughs> anyway, um, no, I will vote on the voting day itself. And the reason is that I would like to get the experience of actually voting on the day. But um, yes, media, um, journalists, security personnel, emergency personnel, uh, observers, local observers who will be observing the election, like people from NGOs have voted. We had a short conversation with the spokesperson of the Independent Electoral Commission who said that generally all voting stations, and these are district voting stations, because you understand that not all voting stations are open, but they are open specifically for this uh, advanced voting or special voting. All of them uh, were open when we spoke to him, although he said that some opened late in some areas, some opened early, the voters uh, didn't arrive on time. But the main thing uh, that happened that we can talk about is that apparently because of the cold, 
the ink, the indelible ink that's used was frozen in some areas. So they had to wait for temperatures to rise a bit. But the voters were patient. They waited for it to happen. And uh, by midday, all was going well. There were long queues, actually, much more than we thought we would expect uh, in this special vote. But perhaps in, uh, indicating or an early indication that uh, maybe the IEC might get uh, that higher uh, voter turnout because in 2015 we had 46%. They are running a huge campaign to try and increase that voter turnout to 85%. Another test uh, for this early voting will perhaps be logistics to ensure that the IEC has all their ducks in a row, if you like. So we have to wait for the end of the day, which is 5 o'clock, but uh, voters will be allowed to vote beyond 5 o'clock if they're already in the queues. But we have to wait for 5 o'clock to get a sense of how the day or the whole of the day went. Obia? And, uh, and Takwana, with uh, just now about uh, six or seven days before the actual poll itself on June the 3rd, who are the current front runners in this race? Uh, the current front runners, I think we can talk about the Prime Minister's Party, the Democratic Congress, which has gone into a pact with the Deputy Prime Minister's Party, the Lesotho Congress for Democracy, and another party in the coalition government, the Popular Front for Democracy. What they've done is they've together fielded candidates where they're saying if one of them has a candidate, the members or supporters of the other parties must vote for that candidate. And these are the three parties that are saying uh, if they win, they will go into a coalition together, obviously. The other runners are the former Prime Minister Tom Tabani's Obasutu Convention and now leader of opposition. Uh, also the Alliance of Democrats, which broke away from the Democratic Congress led by Munyane Mululeki, who was deputy leader in the party of uh, Prime Minister uh, Bakati Tamusisidi's Democratic Congress. But now he has formed the Alliance of Democrats, and that's another runner. The other parties, the Movement for Economic Change, the former Secretary General of Mutechwa Medzing, the Sutu Congress for Democracy, Sidi Bemotrobarani, has formed his own party, the Movement for Economic Change, and he is also another key player in this election. The other parties are the Basutu National Party and the Reformed Congress of Lesotho. But of course, there are 30 parties in total, Obriel, that are running for this election. And so we have to wait and see. Uh, how the outcome pans out. Yes. Obia? Now, during uh, your report there, you were showing us um, the pre-election debate uh, that uh, took place there yesterday and things getting a bit um, uh, um, um, uh, quite heated towards the end. My question is, what has been the reaction of Basutu to this uh, pre-election debate? The pre-election debate itself actually got off to a bit of a sad start in the sense that uh, the build-up to it, we were informed that the national radio station, the national television station, Lesotho Television and Radio Lesotho, were expected to broadcast the debate live. The organizers, Transformation Resource Center, had said that they had had an, 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 an agreement with the national broadcaster to broadcast the debate. But a few minutes before it started, we were then told that they were given instructions not to broadcast. So a lot of people were disappointed waiting at home, hoping that they would watch it there. But of course, um, a lot of them still came out. But as you saw there, uh, there was a lot of heckling, particularly from young people uh, who were heckling the leaders and trying to get them uh, to speak out because they are saying that they've been saying the same thing over and over again, and they're seeing the same faces. And as you saw there in the panel, Obriel, it was a panel of all male. Uh, even though the Reform Congress of Lesotho is the only party that is led by a lady, uh, it was represented by the deputy leader, Dr. Motrela Poko, who's a man. So an all-men panel, but also uh, old faces that we've seen over and over again, except the Lesotho Congress of Democracy, even though... Uh, Minister of Mining, Lebohanto Danyana, is not a member of the National Executive Committee. He is a candidate in this election, and he was representing the party. Mukhele Mulezani was a former minister, now representing the Alliance of Democrats, quite a young person. Also the leader of the Movement for Economic Change, Sidibe Motobarani, has been in politics for quite some time, but he is quite a young person. So a lot of mixed reaction, but generally people saying that uh, more of these debates need to happen and more issues need Need to be discussed as opposed to personalities, which is what we've seen um, over the years in the social politics. Okay?
Well, many thanks uh, to our correspondent there, uh, Ntakwana Ngatani, speaking to us live from Maseru in Lesotho.